first tonight. If you were to come up with a list of the best known people in Maine, who would be on it? You got Stephen King, Patrick Dempsey, various politicians, of course. But that list would also include a businessman who grew up in New York and still has the accent to prove it. You might not know him by his legal name, Alan Cohen, but just about everybody in Southern Maine recognizes this guy when they see him. I'm a third generation retailer. My grandparents ran a business. My dad ran a retail business, so I guess it's in my blood. And here I am in the retail business. For more than 30 years, Al Cohen, who is universally known as Big Al, has been running a discount store in Wiscasset. Halfway up this aisle on your right. Thank you. You're welcome. He has always adapted to changes in the retail yeah, industry, right. which is why Big Al survived the rise of box stores that crushed so many smaller competitors. I have big box stores now on three sides of me. The only reason I don't have it on the fourth side is it's water. <laughs> so Big Al sells, well, what he sells depends on what he bought that month. Soap dispensers, athletic tape, coin wrappers. He sells things cheap because he got them cheap. I've been doing business with people for generations now, and in a lot of cases, I'm the broom that sweeps their warehouse. When they get down to a half a case of this and a half a case of this, eh, put it on Al's skin. When he comes through, he'll take it. This is one of my favorite items in the store, a ruler being given away at the free gift bar. That's right, it's free. The catch is the ruler has no printing on it. A perfect example of Big Al taking lemons and making Lemonade. The store is just part of the story of Big Al's Odd Lot Outlet. Big Al's Route 1 was Cassett, the place to be. The other part of the story is Al himself. He is one of the most recognizable people in Southern Maine. Explore the unique, revel in the unusual. All because of the attention grabbing TV commercials he's been running for three decades. A local cable guy had been after me for three years to do it and finally he said, I'm going to film a commercial for you and not charge you, and I'm going to run it for 30 days and not charge you because I know it's going to work. That salesman suggested Al do commercials like those for Crazy Eddie, an electronics store chain that advertised heavily in New York City. Ladies, gentlemen, and reindeer, it's a Crazy Eddie Christmas blowout blitz. You'll save more money than ever before on anything and everything in home entertainment. Crazy Eddie's prices are insane. Did it come naturally to you to be a ham and be the guy who's marketing this whole operation? Honestly, this is me. I dress like this every day, whether I'm in Maine, I'm in Chicago, I'm on a cruise ship. This is me. This is Big Al saying it doesn't get any bigger than this. Route 1 was Cassid, the place to be. I'm outgoing. I kid around with people. My wife tells me I'm very lucky I've never been punched. And I'm sure that the Senate's going to investigate me someday for something I did 37 years ago. But it's me. If I can get a customer to laugh, the customer's happy they're going to come back. Is it difficult to keep coming up with fresh ideas for the ads? You don't want to just keep doing the same thing over and over. When you're crazy, they just come to you, you know? Big Al's brings you the practical and the bizarre. How much money would you estimate you've spent on television advertising over the years? I shouldn't say, but I figured it out once. I've spent a little over $2 million. When you spend that kind of money, you get to pronounce street names the way you want. You're obviously along Route 1. Route traffic. one, the place to be. Excuse me, my, my error. There have been plenty of businesses that had prime locations and advertised heavily, and they didn't last. Big Al's has endured because his feel for retail goes right down to his bones. I've heard the story of how when you came here and you were selling pasta bowls, and they just weren't moving, which surprised you because you'd sold pasta bowls before, and they'd gone just fine. So you did what? <laughs> I realized that People in Maine are not pasta fans, but they love to eat chowder. And when I changed the sign from pasta bowls to chowder dishes, they sold out. And I've been selling chowder dishes ever since. Do you have a pretty sophisticated computer system to keep track of your inventory, or is it, it really? It, it, it's this system. It's an amazing system. It, it works at its own speed, <laughs> and it's worked that way for 67 years. 
You can't talk about retail without addressing online shopping. And Big Al acknowledges he's taken a hit from Amazon and the other digital giants. I'm not doing the business I did in the old days. I don't have to. It's harder to get help. I have less help. I'm at the end of the mortgage, not at the beginning of the mortgage. Uh, today, I couldn't start up and survive the way I did 35 years ago. But fortunately, I have gray hair and no hair, so I've, I've been through the bad times, and right now, whatever it is, it is. And uh, there are years recently that I've lost money, and honestly, I don't care because I'm feeding 20 families generally, and that's part of the game also. I, I've got my house, I've got my stuff, and uh, I got a lot of people who work for me between my three businesses, and. Uh, Every week they get a check, and that's, that's important also. Don't be scared. It's just me, Big Al. So what does the future hold? Well, for a long time, Big Al has been telling his wife he'll retire in 10 years. She just rolls her eyes. So you started in the retail business when you were just 10. Here you are, 57 years later, with no thoughts of giving it up. Not yet. <laughs> Uh, disregard the beautiful lady sitting in the background, staring lovingly the dog, at Al. The dog goes everywhere <laughs> Al goes. Everywhere. Those two, tight. As you can imagine, there's a lot of employee turnover when you're running a discount store, yet Big Al has employees who've been with, with, been with him for more than mm. 20 years, and he said to me more than once, as he said in the story, he's grateful that he can provide jobs to a lot of people who really need them. You talked about a lot of different sides with Al, and one of the things that we should mention is he has a very long history of contributing generously to our Coats and Toys for Kids campaign. He always shows up with yeah. a big van and unloads. Yeah. Yep, one of the many good causes that Al helps out with.